Hi, welcome to Barclay Builds. The wife wanted a curtain pole and someone told me it was £150 to get one made. So I made one for £30. Let me show you how I did it. The main tool for this uh, I'm going to use is the uh, pipe bender. I'm also going to use uh, my sliding bed to find my angles. And I've also got a couple of pieces of pipe. Uh, now I've got a few spare pieces of pipe so I can make a template. That's going to be critical so I don't waste pipe. I'm going to form this with two pieces of pipe and join them with a straight coupler and I'll put two stop ends on each side. Uh, I'm going to use um, three clips to fix it to the ceiling. This is what the template will look like uh, once it's in the air. Now I'll take this template and these measurements and transfer it to two new pieces of pipe and then we can fix them in the air. So now I've got my template and I'm happy with it. I've offered it up and it works. I'm going to create two more of these. Now the dimensions I got for this, how I came to have this template was I measured my reveal and one side of the window. So that's my reveal measurement and the one side of the window. This measurement here doesn't matter, we can work that out later. That can be as long as it needs to be. We can cut it down once we've got two templates together. So I had seven inches for the reveal. So I marked seven inches and my window length was one meter 100. That's millimeters. So I mark it again. And then we can bend it. When you're bending your second bend, uh, it's critical that you get it on the mark, so your distances are, are the correct distance and it bends on the right distance. And two, you bend it so it's all in line. What I mean by bending it all in line, imagine this is your pipe, uh, you don't want your pipe to be off each side, you want it all to be in the straight line, otherwise you've wrecked a piece of pipe. Now I've got it bent to shape, I've tweaked them slightly so they fit the bay perfectly. I'll get the clips at the top and cut them to length. So now I've got the curtain rail up in the air. Um, I've got the second one. Uh, I'm working out where the middle of the window is. So I've marked the middle and I've marked both the poles so I can cut them to length. So at the same time I measured the centre of the pole, I also measured how far I wanted my pole to stick out of the wall. And I've cut that off now uh, so I can put the end caps on. The wife wanted it spray painted silver. So I went ahead and did that. And now it's all painted, we can put it up on the ceiling. On screen now are the costings for the project. As you can agree, doing it ourselves it is far better than paying someone else to do it and it's more enjoyable, plus we save some money. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing. We'll see you next time.